Good people are always pleased when innocent victims are spared, but how do we balance the joy that some hostages have been released with the reality that it was barbaric to take them in the first place? How do we temper the good news of freedom for some while remembering many are still in captivity? And what is the psychology of victimhood? How do you see depravity up close and personal and not be forever marred by it? How do you rejoice in the safety of a four-year-old child without forgetting who made her an orphan in the first place? Joining us now is Dr. Renana Eitan, who is treating freed hostages at the Tel Aviv Medical Center. Welcome, doctor. Thank you for being here. There are physical needs and there are emotional, psychological needs that might be very difficult to see. So how do you find those kinds of injuries? Hi, so thank you for your kind invitation. And it's very like um, encouraging to know that you're interested in what is happening now in Israel. Um, we have been treating over 15 um, uh, patients who came back from the Hamas uh, captivity at the Tel Aviv Medical Center. And I can tell you that on behalf of all the medical and psychological teams treating those who return, um, the mental states we encounter have no um, precedent um, in medical literature. Um, we feel that we have to rewrite the textbooks of post-trauma. You have to remember that as far as we know, the Red Cross has not visited nor assisted those who were held captive. And there is evidence of severe physical and mental abuse. Those held captive were subject to starvation, to beating, to sexual abuse, um, they, they were being held in inhumane sanitary conditions. Extremely severe psychological abuse was inflicted on them, including, including separation from family members, separation of siblings, separations of children from their mothers. They were held in solitary confinement and spent long days in total darkness until they developed severe hallucinations. Children were forced to watch brutal videos. They were under constant threats by weapons and threats to harm them even after they were released. They report the use of forced use of psychiatric um, drugs and other substances. And it is clear to us now that we must, must act to release all of the hostages as soon as possible, since the cruel abuse of them in the captivity of Hamas is inhumane and intolerable. We have indications that some of the hostages are in a bad mental state and might even hurt themselves. So we now start with an integrative physical and mental rehabilitation action that are required in the treatment of those who were released from the captivities. Some of the homecomers, they look happy, they look fine, they look physically fine, and we try to hold on to those optimistic signs. But still, even um, those who seem fine, we know that most of them suffer from severe post-traumatic symptoms. They have painful traumatic memories, and they are entering into dissociative states where for a moment they feel as if they were still in captivity and only later do they return to the understanding that they have been released. They experience difficulties falling asleep and staying asleep and suffer from nightmares at night. They report paralyzing fear and hypersensitivity to any sound or trigger that reminds them of their time in captivity. And some of them have already developed depression and psychosis. You know, you know, doctor, it, it is not just being in captivity, which is bad enough. Being kidnapped and held in captivity is bad enough. But what some of these folks saw before they were taken captive, the, the barbarism, the, the heinous nature of what Hamas did, th these are unseen injuries. And for some, it will be a lifelong sentence. Uh, their victimhood will be a lifelong sentence. Thank you doctor for treating them and taking care of them. And we'd love to have you back to check on, to check on their progress. Thank you for joining us on a Sunday night. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.